English isn't my main language please be gentle. Particle bullet projectile. Thing. Create a particle system. Reset the rotation. Change the simulation space to world. You can use gravity if you want, but I don't. Now go to emission. Set the rate over time to zero. Add a burst and set the count to one. So it shoots a single bullet every time it plays. Now head over to shape. You can use any shape you want, but I'm gonna use rectangle and zero out the scale so it shoots only in one direction. This particle looks suck so I'm gonna change the material and color a bit. Now it's looking more like a bullet. Here's the important part, tick the collision box, change type to world, set bounce to zero and set lifetime loss to one, so it will kill the particle when it collides. Tick the send collision messages box. This box will make the script work. Create a script, call it something like bullet particle. Attach script on it. Inside the script, delete the start and update function. Define on particle collision function. Define a particle system, and a list of particle collision event. In on particle collision function, call the get collision events function from particle system, pass in the game object with other and particle collision event with the list of event that we defined. Now you can see here that this function also returns an int, that is the size of the event, we need that. Make a for loop with event size. We'll leave the loop empty for now. Let's make particle goes pew pew. Define update function. Make particle play every time we click. Debug it to see if it work or not. Don't forget to tick off the looping and play on awake. And assign the particle system. Or if you lazy just assign it in the start function. Hey it's work. Let's create another particle effect. Make it look like a spark. And make sure play on awake box is ticked. Yeah that would work. Make it into prefab and delete the original one. Go back to bullet particle script and define a game object. Call it spark or something. Get rid of debug thing we don't need that anymore. And instantiate a spark effect. Pass an intersection. And make it look at normal. Back to editor, assign the spark game object with spark prefab, test it. Yep. Let's make an enemy, make a cube and paint it red, I called that an enemy. Make a script, call it something like enemy and attach on it. Inside enemy script, delete everything, define a float, call it health, and set the default value to like 100. Define a public function, I'm gonna call this take damage and give a float parameter, call it damage. Inside the function, we're going to subtract health with damage and if health is less than or equal to zero, then destroy the game object. Go to bullet particle script, define a float and call it damage, so we can edit it in the inspector. Inside on particle collision function, we're going to check and try to get enemy component, from game object that gets hit by a particle. If it can get the component, then call a take damage function and pass in damage. Let's test it. Of cause it works because I'm so good at it. In case your enemy component and the collider isn't in the same game object, like this. All you have to do is add the transform dot root after other, but your enemy component need to be on the root. And congratulation you now achieve a bullet particle thingy. And by playing around with particle system, you can shoot anything, any way you want.